The fire is currently at 42 acres and uh, 78% contained. Those figures are as of 10 a.m. this morning. Uh, at this point, we don't expect the fire to be growing in size at all. Uh, so our, our expectation is that 42 acres will be the finishing size of the fire. Uh, and hopefully we'll get to 100% containment uh, by the end of the day tomorrow is kind of what we're shooting for. And really means that we've got our arms around the fire, which is great. Uh, wind has really died down today, so much better conditions out there uh, for actually working on the fire. The cause of the fire is under active investigation, um, but there are no determinations have been made at this time. The uh, area where the fire started in that large, large log pile, um, that fire is still very much burning. Um, there's smoke coming off of that pile. Uh, it's going to be a, a fair amount of time before that fire gets extinguished, and you know maybe something that we're kind of wrestling with long term uh, into the summer, just trying to make sure that everything is good and out there. It's an enormous amount of wood. Uh, much of it has been burned, uh, but with, when you look at it now, it's still just a, a kind of mind-boggling uh, volume of, of fuel. So, I mean, there are places up there where we've got, you know, four to five feet of, of ash and burning logs and embers, and, and honestly not something that's the, the regular run-of-the-mill wildland fire. So what we're asking is that people who are traveling through the, the area or who are in the area just recognize that they're going to see smoke and some minor signs of fire. Uh, so no, no cause for alarm. Everything's well in control up there. There's still evacuation orders in place for Bromberg Canyon. That's at level three. Um, everything else is down to level two or one. Um, I think there's still there are still roadblocks in place, uh, so they're limiting traffic through um, through Chumstick to uh, to people who are residents or have legitimate business up there.